a cock 45 even though I'm not sure I can be an expert marksman with this uh, Ruger SR762 we are going to try it here on the chapter 2 range and throw some big 308 rounds 762 at those little targets over there because if I hit them they will definitely knock them down I think <laughs> so uh, like I say the the sights are yeah, I don't know they're they're close it shoots lower than I like but I, I'm not gonna mess with the front sight uh, I'm not gonna change that I need a new sight tool anyway to do that so I need to hold up high on the target and uh, I think the windage is close enough for government work and uh, we're just gonna see what we can do with it okay if we don't get them all that's okay but uh, we'll try to so let's put some ears on and uh, we're, we're shooting some of that Brazilian ammo that we uh, discovered will work if the gas setting is on three at least so far it has so uh, if we have trouble with it uh, we'll have trouble with it but we're gonna we're gonna use that since I have uh, I don't know I had about a hundred rounds of that left so I wanted to take advantage of that because as you know 308 762 ain't cheap all right let's pop the safety off and uh, now I've got to take my time I know when I have a semi-automatic in my hands it's hard to do I just want to keep shooting I think I'm at a nitsick match or something all right all right take my time see if I can pop the plate over there okay not the best trigger in the world but uh, we'll see what we can do here at least until I come up with more excuses Okay, it's rather windy today too. That's another excuse I meant to use. It could uh, move those steel targets around on me because they only weigh about 75 pounds apiece. Okay, uh, you know what happens though when I start out well. I can never stand success. There we go. Take my time. I'm holding almost over them, right on the top edge, or trying to. <laughs> Maybe I better not mess with the sights. <laughs> Maybe this is the way I need to be adjusting my sights. <sighs> All right. I apologize for not missing yet. I'm sure I'll make up for it here. I tell you that's a little bugger all right let's take that one on the right or try Scared that one down. <sighs> hey, I feel better. I really thought I might struggle here. But I better shut up. I'm not <laughs> oh yeah, two liter. Okay, let's try that two liter down there. And there's a little bit of cinder block left up there. Well, do we think we can hit the red plate? Let's try that by holding high on it. All right, <laughs> last shot. Well, I'll be darned. I sell myself short, don't I, sometimes? But really, I was having to hold uh, high uh, right in the top of it, uh, covering up the target. I normally don't like the sight like that. Maybe I need to be sighting like that though, right? Let's see, we usually finish with one on the big plate over there though. Let's do that. Oh, 
go. And we've got a couple of guys right here. A couple of bad desperados that need our attention. <laughs> a little spray coming back there. Woo! So we're on safe. Oh man. Well, okay. You never know how you're going to shoot, do you? I never know for sure. Uh, on a good day, I can hold my own and uh, I can even overcome a bad trigger sometimes. Uh, I guess because I shoot all the time. But then again, you know, I really am not a proficient rifleman. And uh, sometimes over here I can I can struggle a little bit when I shouldn't. You know, when the sights are right on, and uh, I don't know, maybe it's my breathing, uh, maybe it's my brain, or you know, what it is sometimes. But I, anyway, I'm, I'm pleased with this rifle. Uh, trigger's not a not a match trigger for sure, and uh, you know it's right out of the box. Uh, <laughs> took it out of the box yesterday. It's a brand new rifle. And, uh, and again, it's interesting, uh, just by moving the, the gas adjustment over to three instead of two, the, uh, the cheaper, well, not much cheaper, but uh, the low-end Brazilian uh, 762 ammo uh, works fine now in it, okay? So, but it's recommended to be on, on two, which is what we had it on with the PMC and some other stuff I was shooting. If I was shooting the Federal or just whatever, I'd put it on two and it would probably work better. Pretty nice rifle, I have to say. Uh, you know, it, it, it's not going to be as appealing to a lot of people in terms of, wow, that is the coolest they are I've ever seen necessarily. But it's just, it's a, in a way, it's a bit of a, maybe you'd call it a minimalist uh, AR-10. You know, it, it just it just works and feels good, not overly heavy, and it's got what you need. Everything you need, nothing you don't. You know, that old line we used. So anyway, the Ruger SR-762, my experience with it in the short time I've had it, with uh, what, maybe a couple hundred rounds, has been pretty positive.